It's the final box now! Hey Internet, I'm Steve the Cosmere Knot, and this is Raphael. The last box of the year of Sanderson has been sent, so now it's time to open it up. I'm gonna miss it a little bit. I'm gonna be sad. It's appropriate that the year of Sanderson ends with a Sanderson box. Let's bust it open! There are still stories to tell. Well, there better be! Ooh! Oh, the final Cosmere character pin of Series 1, Kelsier. I thought for sure it was going to be Dalinar, given that Brandon has said multiple times Dalinar is typically his favorite character. And also, uh, <laughs> the secret pin, Brandon himself. That's fantastic. Oh, with the Bridge Four shirt. And he's leaning on a stack of five books. I assume that's like the first arc of Stormlight, right? They are massive, so. Ooh, I love me some socks. Air on the side of awesome. Uh, that's, a fa that's great. Cool, some, some lovely socks. Wow, that is a tiny. Th this box has been out for a minute. I know everything that's in it. I don't know what this is actually, but we'll find out. But this, Long Chills and Case Dough, the secret, secret, secret project. Oh, come on, Nightblood. This is Peter's favorite of Brandon's short stories. <clears throat> what a teeny little Sanderson curiosity this is. My favorite thing about this book, the first line is actually lifted from an essay I wrote way back in my undergraduate days. He actually mentions it in an intentionally blank episode. He talks about writing like research papers as fiction, creating a detective that needed to research whatever topic it was. Like he talks about it. The rain snapped against my skull like a plinger playing tunes on an old tin can in the middle of a dark alley. That's from a research paper. <laughs> Brandon. What is this? Nightblood. Let's do it, man. Oh, right! The writing notebook. Yeah. This is the thing that Brandon specifically teased that he wanted in, in this specific box. There are still stories to tell with some really cool art. Welcome to my writing notebook. It's not completely empty. Well, yeah. Every few pages, we've added an actual note from my own writing notebook. Cool. A world where everyone wears a different kind of bell as an identifying feature. I wonder if any of these are going to be incorporated in the Cosmere eventually. Or if we're going to see any writings from Brandon with these. Time travel tourism to the Titanic with a game show to see if you can stop it from sinking. Titanic 2, sink harder. A culture where everyone always wears gloves and no one touches because skin-to-skin -skin contact allows magic to be used. We saw that in Sunlight Man. <laughs> Worlds where cities float on vast seas of noxious gases. I mean, there's a couple of those, aren't there? We've got Redon in the Cytoverse, and Ashen, kinda, technically, maybe? I don't know. A world where sunlight is too strong to go out in, and people live only in darkness. Well, <clears throat> there are some people who cannot see blue, or rather to them, it's just a shade of green. It's not that they're colorblind, it's that they don't have a word for blue and don't understand the distinction. That's not a f fiction thing that Brandon made up. That is an actual thing in, like, on Earth. That's a real thing. Vikings versus Cthulhu. Spook Alley where they really kill you and are cloned back to life afterward. Goodness. World where spores rain down almost constantly. There's Tress. Oh, end papers by Randy Vargas. Ah, okay. Oh my gosh, these are incredible. Wow. Okay, so we've got Stormlight with Nightblood, Zeth vs. Kaladin. That's Nail and Cal with Tien, Bridge Running. I wonder if these are going to be in Wind and Truth, because Truth, Wind. And then this is Mistborn, the two eras. Mistborn Era 1, Mistborn Era 2. These are so cool. Randy Vargas, well done. That is a lovely book. I love the, you've got line and then you've got the bullet journal style on the other page. It's a really versatile book. Like, I think this is great. With page numbers, it's got a table of contents. This is awesome. Really well designed. This box contains a twist ending. What would the year of Sanderson be without a surprise or two? Great, great work, Dragonsteel. This, wow. I mean, at the end of such an incredible year, this has been such an amazing ride to be a part of. First, the hugely record-breaking Kickstarter, and then I feel like every single month has just gotten better and better and better. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Dragonsteel. Thank you, Inventor's Guide. Thank you, all of the artists and all of the warehouse people packing everything and all of the admin people in Dragonsteel managing it. Like, this has been such an incredible year. Thank you so much for everything that you've done for the rest of this really wonderful fandom. I'm glad we're taking a bit of a break next year because I am somewhat exhausted from all of the stuff that we had going on, but I'm excited to see where the Cosmere and where Dragonsteel as an organization continues to go. I want to talk to somebody about doing the audiobook for this. Can I, can I do that? Can it be me? 
Can it be me? I want to, I want to do it. And of course, always thank you to my patrons with Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, and Dalinar's butt. Thank you so much for your support. We just had Colas Head Munching Day. If you missed that video, it will be right here. I will have another unboxing soon of all of the Stormlight Minis, but I think we've all earned a little break. Happy holidays, see you in the new year, and read and find out! And I'm gonna be moving into a new office space to record new stuff. So I think it's time we take a little break.